go on an exciting journey with us. We're rewinding time to explore puzzling images and discoveries that have left even the sharpest minds amazed. Prepare to be blown away by mysteries from the past. Number 1. The Hook Sea Island Sea Monster Hook Island, an island off the coast of Australia, is a peaceful national park known primarily for coral reef diving, but it wasn't always known for its beauty. In 1964, a French photographer named Robert Le Serec spotted a giant creature near Stonehaven Bay on an island. At first he thought it was about 30 feet long, but then it looked even larger, possibly more than 90 feet long. Le Serec described what the creature looked like in detail. Although some experts thought it could be a large eel, this idea was discarded due to its size and location. There were questions about Le Serec's intentions and some controversy over the photos he took. Like the Loch Ness Monster, the mystery of the Hook Island Sea Monster continues to be debated in the cryptozoology community due to some strong evidence supporting its existence. Number 2. In the iconic 1997 film, Titanic, there is a scene showing a young boy engrossed in playing with a top on the ship's deck. Interestingly, this scene is a recreation of a real photograph taken aboard the Titanic. The photograph was captured on one of the Titanic's upper decks just days before the tragic ship met its fateful end. The date was April 11, 1912. The photograph shows a six-year-old boy named Robert Douglas Spedden, who was happily entertained by spinning his top while his father and other passengers watched the scene. Young Robert was a first-class passenger from a wealthy family. Accompanied by his family, he was traveling on the Titanic back to his residence in Tuxedo Park, New York, after a family excursion in Algeria. But what happened to this young boy? Well, he was fast asleep when the Titanic hit the iceberg. Amid the chaos of the sinking, he briefly woke up as his nanny, Elizabeth Burns, assured him that she would take him on a trip to see the stars. It is said that Robert fell asleep again without realizing the tragedy that was unfolding. When he finally woke up the next morning, he found himself in a lifeboat, having survived the calamity. Tragically, Robert's story took a fatal turn in 1915, at the tender age of nine, when he died prematurely after being hit by a car in Maine. Considering the limited number of cars on the roads at the time, his accident stands out as one of the earliest recorded car-related incidents in the state's history. Number 3. The Nampa Figurine In 1889, workers drilling a well near Nampa, Idaho, found a tiny clay figurine about the size of a coin and the shape of a slender woman. A figurine was found about 295 feet underground that raised questions about its authenticity and origin. Professor Albert A. Wright of Oberlin College, in 1979, confirmed that it was the work of a skilled artist. Despite the wear, one could still see her clear features such as a round head with faint eyes and mouth, broad shoulders, short arms, and long legs. She also had faint patterns that could represent clothing or jewelry. Wright compared the figurine to clay balls from the same location to confirm its authenticity. Testimonies from those who found it and from a railroad manager supported its authenticity. It has been compared to Paleolithic figures from caves in France and Belgium but remains enigmatic, as does a nearby suspicious painting. Number 4. Madonna with the Child San Giovannino This 15th century painting by Domenico Ghirlandaio has sparked debate due to a strange object in the sky, which some believe could be a UFO. Ghirlandaio was known for his religious paintings, and this one shows the Virgin Mary, the baby Jesus, and Saint John. If you look closely, you will see a strange object near the Virgin Mary's head. This has led some to speculate about extraterrestrial visitors. Some suggest that the object could be diminishing the intensity of the Madonna's halo and protecting her in some way. 
At that time, depictions of celestial elements were common in religious art and often represented the divine. Although this may be unusual in the context of biblical beliefs, it has generated interesting discussions between science and religion. Number 5. The iceberg that sank the Titanic It is widely known that the sinking of the Titanic was caused by an iceberg. But listen to this. Just two days before the disaster, the captain of another ship crossing the Atlantic was lucky enough to take an incredible black and white photograph of a massive iceberg. And the most shocking thing is that it is believed to be the same iceberg that sank the Titanic. This sea captain, named W. Wood, served on the SS Etonian, a British merchant ship, and had a passion for photography. Fortunately, he had his camera on hand and managed to capture the immensity of that iceberg. The really interesting part is that Captain Wood wrote down the exact coordinates of the iceberg, which coincided almost exactly with the place where the Titanic crashed and sank, killing 1,522 people. Upon arriving in New York, Captain Wood shared the photo and sent a copy to his great-grandfather with a letter stating that this iceberg was the cause of the Titanic disaster. On the photo, he wrote in bold black ink, Iceberg taken by Captain Wood says, Etonian, in 41 degrees 50 minutes north latitude and 49 degrees 50 minutes west longitude on April 12th at 4 p.m. Although other photos of icebergs have been seen in the Titanic's route over the past century. What makes Captain Wood's photo intriguing is that the shape of the iceberg closely resembles eyewitness drawings and descriptions of the iceberg that sealed the fate of the Titanic in its tragic collision at 10.20 p.m. on April 14, 1912, sinking within three hours. Number 6. The Time Traveler, The Time Traveler, photo was taken in 1941 in Gold Bridge, British Columbia, during the reopening of the South Fork Bridge. Some people on the internet believe that the man in the photo is a time traveler because of his modern clothing, sunglasses, and small camera. However, his clothes have logical explanations. Sunglasses had existed since the 1920s. His shirt resembled that of the sports teams of the time and his small camera had already been manufactured since 1938. The phenomenon of the traveler in the time has been a popular topic on the internet and has been discussed at conferences in 2011. Number 7. The Babushka Lady The Babushka Lady is an unknown woman who was present during the 1963 assassinations of U.S. President John F. Kennedy in Dallas at Dealey Plaza. It is believed that she may have taken photos or filming of the shooting, and she is named so because of the scarf she wore on her head, similar to that of older Russian women. Several witnesses saw her on camera and she appears on footage of the murder, but her identity and any film she may have taken of her remain a mystery. Beverly Oliver claimed to be the babushka lady, but she was found to be lying. The real woman remains unidentified, and the fate of any possible film she took remains unknown. In history, there are more inexplicable photos that can never be explained. Number 8. Third-class passengers. This next photo offers a glimpse into the experience of third-class passengers, also known as foredeck passengers, settling in aboard the Titanic. On the Titanic, Third-class passengers shared communal bathrooms, ate together in dedicated dining facilities, and slept in staterooms with four occupants per room. Despite being considered third-class, the accommodations provided to these passengers on the Titanic were remarkably good compared to what they were used to. Although the space allotted to steerage passengers was relatively small and they had access to very few amenities, a notable benefit to them was that they were provided with meals, a significant improvement compared to many other steamships of the time, where they were provided with meals. He expected the foredeck passengers to bring their own food. Although the third-class cabins were in less preferred areas of the Titanic, 
close to the noise of the engines, they had amenities such as running water and electricity. Single men were accommodated at the front of the ship, while single women and families were in the stern, where there were larger cabins for them. Although the cabins, although spacious for the time, were irregularly shaped to fit the shape of the ship. In addition to the cabins, there was a common room for third-class passengers to gather, read and play, and although they couldn't use the gym or pool, they hosted their own parties. Most of the 700 steerage passengers were immigrants seeking a future in the United States via the Titanic. Unfortunately, many did not make it, as only 25% survived the tragedy, and only a small portion of that group were men. Number 9. Plane under the Eiffel Tower in 1944, two intrepid pilots, pilot officer Bob Berman and flight sergeant navigator Bill Bryan, met with a photographer and a reporter in a Parisian bar after a few drinks. The idea arose to fly his plane under the Eiffel Tower to capture an epic image. The next morning, they accomplished this feat, although they narrowly avoided crashing into the Trocadero Hotel. The photographer managed to capture this beautiful moment. The pilots decided to remain anonymous due to concerns about the consequences but eventually their squadron discovered the truth. Number 10. Traffic officer in Philadelphia in 1922, instead of electric traffic lights, devices controlled by traffic officers were used on the streets. This clever solution helped prevent vehicle collisions and ensured the safety of pedestrians. It represents an extremely interesting historical episode. Number 11. Titanic life jackets, this photo is part of an album of a passenger who left the Titanic before its sinking. The Titanic had life jackets for everyone, made of canvas and cork, but they were fragile in design and tied with ropes. Tragically, as the Titanic was sinking, some passengers jumped into the water and the impact left them unconscious due to the design of the vests. Many drowned or suffered injuries. After World War II, the design of cork vests was improved. Although there were problems, original Titanic vests still exist and have achieved high prices at auction. Number 12. Soldier sharing his food. A German soldier from World War II, surrounded by destruction, chose to share his meager rations with a Russian woman and her son. This moment of kindness in the midst of chaos and conflict was immortalized in a photograph. The surprising thing was that nationality had no relevance at that time. This simple act of compassion reflects the universal desire for humanity and survival. Number 13. Horseback riding costumes at Halloween celebrations. Halloween festivities in the 1920s were noticeably different. There were costume performers riding horses, adding a mysterious touch to the occasion. Some even dressed up as skeletons, creating a festive atmosphere rather than terrifying people. These night riders were a unique and memorable spectacle. Number 14. Athletes passing cigarettes in the Roaring Twenties, an image of the Tour de France, a famous cycling race, shows an unusual setting. Athletes exchanged cigarettes as they pedaled around the field. It is surprising how the perception of health varied at that time. Number 15. Boxing between sailors on the USS Oregon, amid the steel giants of war. An unexpected boxing fight broke out on the deck of the battleship USS Oregon in 1897. The sailors were fascinated by this exciting spectacle, a respite of his somber military tasks. Number 16. The captain and quartermaster of the Titanic, this photo shows Captain Edward J. Smith, the British captain of the Titanic, next to the ship's quartermaster, Hugh Walter Makara. The image was taken by a passenger who disembarked in Queenstown, Ireland, three days before the tragic sinking. Sadly, both lost their lives in the disaster. Three days into his first voyage from Southampton, Captain Smith followed his Sunday routine, 
inspecting the ship and conducting a church service. As night fell on April 14, 1912, the temperature dropped and the surface of the Atlantic appeared calm, making it difficult to detect icebergs in the region in spring. Despite the conditions, Captain Smith maintained top speed, confident that the crew could react quickly to icebergs. However, on the night of April 14, he was not on the bridge when the ship struck an iceberg. Upon learning of the damage, he asked Thomas Andrews, the designer of the Titanic, to evaluate it, who determined that the ship would sink. At 2.20 a.m. On April 15, the Titanic suffered her tragic fate. Captain Smith was last seen on the bridge, although reports of saving a child were largely dismissed. His body was never found. Opinions about Smith's actions vary. Some criticize him for not slowing down, while others say he thought he could maneuver. His absence on the bridge during the encounter with the ice field is also questioned. Number 17. Human-Powered Tractor Around 1880 in Europe, there was a human-powered tractor. It was a brilliant combination of strength and ingenuity, where workers used their energy to move heavy stones and transform the landscape. This incredible invention connected traditional labor with modern efficiency, leaving a lasting impact on British agricultural and engineering history. Number 18. Money used as toys during the hyperinflation of 1922 in Germany where the currency lost its value, German children turned useless banknotes into toys, using them as building blocks. This image exemplifies the profound impact of hyperinflation on their daily lives. Number 19. The ancient Tesla electric car. In 1898, a luxurious electric car was manufactured for the Grand Duke Alexei Alexandra Vitrimanov. This elegant marvel captured the essence of progress at the dawn of the automotive age. Number 20. Woman at Niagara Falls. In a daring feat on October 24, 1901, a brave woman defied gravity at Niagara Falls by descending in a barrel. This personal adventure was etched in the history of Niagara Falls. Number 21. Christmas Package for Deceased Soldiers. On Christmas 1944 in New York City, there were packages full of gifts for soldiers who had lost their lives or disappeared in combat. These packages, meant to bring joy, had bittersweet meaning because of the sacrifices made during the war. Number 22. Nine Monarchs, in 1910, during the funeral of King Edward VII in London, nine sitting monarchs gathered for this special occasion, and were captured in a photograph. This historical moment is possibly the only image that shows the nine kings of that time together. Number 23. Legendaries Fishing, in 1960, iconic revolutionaries, Che Guevara and Fidel Castro, decided to take a break from politics and head to the beautiful landscapes of Cuba for a fishing trip. As they cast their hooks into the glistening waters, they strengthened their camaraderie and shared their passion for fishing. This fishing trip became a powerful metaphor for the special ties that united them. It's a surprising and interesting aspect of these historical figures that we don't hear about often. Number 24. Four Horsemen in the Street On November 4, 1973, four horsemen rode through the bustling streets of Amsterdam. This occurred on a car-free day in response to the Middle East oil crisis. Europe was facing fuel shortages, so they took creative measures to conserve resources, such as banning the use of motor vehicles on Sundays. In this context, the four horsemen embraced a bygone era, giving everyone a nostalgic reminder of what commuting used to be like. Number 25. Einstein deriving an equation in December 1934, the famous scientist Albert Einstein visited Pittsburgh to give a lecture at the Carnegie Institute of Technology, now known as Carnegie Mellon University. It was a brief visit, but during it the only known photo of Einstein with a version of his equation of relativity was taken. 
The photo was taken from the balcony of the Little Theater, now called the Kresge Theater at CMU. It gives us a look at a legendary moment in the history of science, and this photo is a true treasure.